Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So yes, Matthew 5 verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So the discussion, what does it mean to be pure in heart? And what does it mean to be able to see God? So to be pure means to be clean or to be cleansed. And those who are truly pure are those who have been declared innocent. And not because of their works, but because of the works that were done on the cross by Jesus. And these are the people who are being sanctified by his refining fire and by his pruning. So, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So what does it mean now to be able to see God? Seeing God pretty much just means that we will be admitted into his presence. We'll be able to experience his glory and be able to experience his holiness while on earth but the fun thing about this as well mm -hmm. is that being able to see god it has a future aspect so first corinthians 13 12 tells us that in eternity we will see god face to face we will get to know him even better even as he knows us and that is a great hope of believers that eventually we will be able to see him face to face so pure in heart so being pure in heart involves having a singleness of heart towards God. And, you know, learning from the Beatitudes, Jesus is concerned about our heart. You know, it's not enough to clean up our acts on the outside. And, you know, it's like a superficial behavior because, you know, so much of the world it shows works. So you're gonna have somebody who might be corrupt, but they do two good things on the outside and everybody is praising them. You know, that person is so good, you know, they're so generous. And God is concerned about our hearts. So blessed are the pure in hearts, for they shall see God. And we are to be, you know, there's so much of the world right now that is just fake. <laughs> and it just, it glorifies this fake, superficial behavior. Yeah. And you know, want to be pure in heart, and that is such a promise, that we will be able to see God. Mm -hmm. You know, to be in his presence, yes, on earth, but you know, the future, the future blessing of that is to actually see God face to face. Because, you know, heaven is not like, okay, a place where God sends us, which, which is great. You know, and we have, you know, it's nice, but we will actually be able to see God. That is a, a such a wonderful promise and, you know, something to look forward to. Yeah. yeah. So next one. So Matthew 5, 9 says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So what does it mean to be peacemakers and the children of God? So the Greek word translated as peacemaker is a word used to describe someone who actively proclaims God's word to reconcile the listener with God. And what does it mean that we shall be called the children of God? The verse says, blessed, well, I don't have to read this over, but the peacemakers will be called the children of God, right? These will be the people who will reflect the divine character of God through their actions. And God is a God of peace. So when we choose to, to make peace in the workplace or in the community, in our homes, um, just around the whole wide world, we show ourselves then to be his children. And this discussion when we're talking about peacemakers, it it's really in depth. Like Sherelle and I had our discussion and it goes far, but because of how we're presenting it we can't be as specific but we encourage you all you know to go through the beatitudes and you know find the examples of where of how much it's contradicting how much the word is contradicting what god is saying and we hold on to the word of god god helps us because when you think of peace right now i mean in the world the world needs peace the world doesn't have it and when you think about the countries in the world think about what's happening in the world even when good PR, when good public relations and you know how to post certain things on social media and put it on mainstream media. When you look at those things, you would think, wow, these countries are all coming together to do things good, boy. And it's like, wow, peace, finally, with some <laughs> countries. And when you delve into it, A little further, yeah. you find things, things rooted in sin. You find things in hate, in racism, in ostracizing people, but you know, it's masqueraded as peace. Mm -hmm. You're seeing things where people are considering this as a peaceful thing where they're combining religions to one religion and they say, wow, they can't believe that people could come together to do something like that. That is not God, that is not peace. Remember, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no mix mixing. 
The only peace we can have is in Christ. God is the, he is the Prince of Peace. That is yeah. Jehovah Shalom. That is the God of peace. Our peace comes from him and we have to know that. And what the world is saying is peace. We have to know the word of God and we stand firm on the word of God and how peace is to come because it's not always easy being a peacemaker and we will, we will admit that. Yeah. You know, in, in the workplace and homes, sometimes you get punished for being a peacemaker, but we have to remember who calls us yeah. to be peacemakers. So next week, God's willing, one more. And hopefully we'll see you then.